When outdoor temperatures heat up, there's no better place to be than under a well-performing ceiling fan. But avoiding common installation woes will help you keep your cool all year long. Hi, I'm Chip Wade. Over the past 15 years, I've helped hundreds of clients build, design, and renovate their homes, thanks in a big part to Kitchler. Fans are a very versatile appliance. They provide cooling air in the summer, warming air in reverse, and often come with a light kit to provide centralized illumination. But when it comes to ceiling fans, there are a couple of things that everybody wants to avoid, namely wobble, humming, and motor noise. Here are some tips to help you troubleshoot each. When it comes to fans, all roads lead back to the outlet box or the junction box. This is the core element from which all other components are affixed. It's important to know that if the box is incorrectly installed or loose, it will lead to wobble in the fan. To eliminate wobble, firmly secure the outlet box to a ceiling joist at a minimum of two points. Now, be sure to adhere to local building codes when it comes to this particular component. Warped or distorted fan blades are another source of wobble. To avoid this, it's best to set the fan blades on a flat floor, affixed to only the blade irons, until the fan motor body is completely installed on the ceiling, then affix the blades there. It's tempting to install the full fan on the ground, but that tends to be the most common cause of blade distortion. When you assemble the fan and leave it on the ground while you tend to do the wiring, it often leans on one or more of the blades and the weight of the fan causes it to bend. Trust me, I know. Now that you've made sure that the junction box is secure and that there's no distortion with the fan blades, here are a few tips to avoid and troubleshoot humming or motor noise. First, check to make sure all the pins and screws are secure. Next, make sure none of the parts are missing. Likewise, if any of the parts are not firmly secured, it could result in noise, which can intensify as the down rod gets longer given the natural sway. Third, avoid over-tightening or sandwiching the fan to the ceiling. Make sure you allow a sliver of space to prevent the natural movement of the fan from intersecting with the ceiling, which can cause vibration through the drywall. Fourth, check the glass. Oftentimes, if it's not securely fastened, unleveled, or uncentered, this could create noise as well. Lastly, there's a bit of delicate finesse needed when affixing the blade irons to the motor. The blade irons should be flat, and you should make it a point to alternate from screw to screw after every few turns. This ensures the screws are tightened evenly without overextending one side of the blade iron over the other. Remember, even blade irons help to avoid both wobble and noise. Kitchler is committed to offering one of the most comprehensive, high-quality ceiling fans in the entire industry. For more tips, tricks, and troubleshooting, visit kitchler.com.